Hello, today we are going to do a tournament. We're going to do our 31st VGC tournament as part of the Snorlax squad. Uh, I'm going to be using Blacephion today because I think he's a really interesting Pokemon, and a lot of people have been running him alongside Colossal. Uh, I feel like he could be really utilized well with Indeedy, so that'll be cool. I'm going to have him have an Expanding Force kind of mode. Our first opponent today is Toronto Togenomaru, and it's a best of three set, so I'm going to challenge him. Oh, also we have uh, Dragonite with Aqua Jet, who can proc Colossal's Weakness Policy and Steam Engine. So those will both be pretty cool. Alrighty, let's load this thing up. Alright, I'm challenging him. Alrighty, so <laughs> right off the bat I see he's got a way to shut down abilities. I'm assuming that he is going to go Weezing and Rigigigas because that's just the mode a lot of people are using right now. Uh, he says, good luck, have fun. I am going to have fun. Good luck, have fun to you too. All right. I think that what I'm going to do is I have Yawn Torkoal, so I'm just going to put Regigigas to sleep. And I'm going to go Indeedy. All right. Because that way we can follow me away the max strike and then who do we want to clean up I kind of feel like bless Effie on coal in the back doesn't do bad here honestly all right Regigigas and Weezing kind of just like what we expected all right so Torkoal will use yawn we'll go we'll go into Regigigas and then we'll just do follow me because I kind of anticipate he's just going to attack into that spot. And then the next turn we'll just do a double protect. Oh shoot, you know what? That doesn't work out if he max strikes and it kills. You know what? I'm still going to go for it. This could be a, a game ending play, but sometimes we got to risk it. That was perfect. We wanted to see that. Goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, Indeedy. You did your job. Okay. You know what? We can afford to go bless Cephion here. And you know, I like the double protect. Torkoal will use eruption, and you know what? Let's just let's just. It's time for nap time. We wait for Regigigas to go to sleep. I don't anticipate Weezing switching out here. Weezing's probably going to go taunt to Torkoal, and Regigigas might just do max max ground into Colossal if he has it. This will reveal a lot of information. It's going to proc our weakness policy no matter what, and then Regigigas will go to sleep. I don't anticipate Weezing's going to be doing any big damage. It might have clear smog, which could be a problem. Okay, max quake, that's good to know. Does a lot of damage. taunt we say no okay now so Weezing has two options here he can protect you know what? I kind of like setting max flare so I'm gonna do eruption and I'm gonna do max flare into but I like rocks too the residual damage is just too good we're gonna do eruption because I feel like at full health he's gonna die and then we'll do Max Volcanoth into Regigigas too. Oh, switch out. Who's it going into? Amoongus. I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with that actually. Clear Smog and... Okay, no, we outspeed Weezing. That's really big information. Sludge Bomb, we get poisoned. That's unfortunate, but... Wow, that eruption did not a lot at all to Weezing. The Regigigas is asleep. So as long as we kill Weezing, we're not in a bad spot at all. Regieleki definitely outspeeds us. He can't really set electric terrain. Ugh, I feel like it's just another eruption. And then we go Max Flare into... You know what? Without the without the wheezing, the other Pokemon just becomes so much weaker. I don't anticipate Sludge Bomb's going to kill us. We're going to go for that. Eruption's going to take it down to Focus Sash. Rocks will kill it. This isn't team sheet. This is not open team sheet. I just kind of assumed it would be Sash, just looking at his team. 
All right, and then Sleeping Regigigas with Slow Start. We're in a really good spot. So we just click Eruption, we do Damage, we do Colossal, and we do Max Flare's boosted by the sun, so we do Max Flare. And that's GG. So off to a really great start. The nice thing is that Colossal can kind of put work in even, even when he doesn't have Steam Engine proc, he can still be a threat on the field just because he's a relatively bulky Pokemon even with no investment. All right, and then this time, let's try something. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. That's a random, <laughs> it's somebody else. Well, we just gave him a little bit of a <laughs> point, so that happens. All right, I have no reason to expect he leads differently. The Frost Moth is really interesting to see because I don't know how he's going to use it, and this team is such a heavily invested like fire team that I don't anticipate he brings that or Lucario. I feel like he'll just bring the same lead again. Now he knows that Torkoal has Yawn, so I can't really do the same lead that I started with. And I know that he has max ground. So you know what? I kind of just feel like we do... Huh. What do we do? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm trying to think what the... You know what? It doesn't hurt to do this. And then we'll have this in the back and let's do I'm just worried that it's earthquake on Regigigas and it's not uh, max overgrowth or not max uh, what's it called max or <laughs> max <laughs> sorry I'm tongue twisted all right we're just gonna go like you know hmm Torkoal is nice, but I feel like this is my bring. And the reason I'm bringing Dragonite is because I'm just going to waste his max turns. I know for a fact he's going to use max ground into... Actually, you know what? There's a high chance that he just does... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> let's let's just waste some turns. We're going to switch. This is the big brain. We're going to do double switch. All right. Except it doesn't really net us anything for the next turn. That's the big problem here. I kind of anticipate he goes Protect with Weezing, and he does probably Max Strike or Max Ground, in which case if he does either of those, he's wasting a Max turn. Taunt doesn't really net him anything here. He's probably looking at this like, what do I do? The big brain plea here would just be max strike into Colossal, and if he does that, I'll just be like, okay, I, I surrender the game. If we can get rid of Weezing, Colossal can kind of just set up and take off. He probably is afraid of Ndidi, and that's why I put Blast Evian in, just as a defensive switch. I don't really have a, a plan for turn two, but turn one, we're going to look like a big brain. Let's, let's see. Protect, yeah, I kind of anticipated that. Max strike does nothing. Alrighty. So now, I just want to take this wheezing out. And you know what? I'm totally okay with doing expanding force here because we can always switch our our Indedian afterwards. We're choice scarf, so we outspeed him even af even if he kills Dragonite with a max strike. I don't anticipate that Expanding Force will do a ton to Regigigas, but if we get Weezing off the field, we'll be doing damage over time. The correct plan, his part right here, would be to get rid of Dragonite, because Dragonite has Aqua Jet, which can proc coal. So we're just waiting. If he max strikes, max strikes Dragonite, that's going to be the best play he can make here. Ooh, you know what? This is a problem because Reg Regigigas does outspeed Dragonite naturally, and I don't think Dragonite will tank a max strike here. So that would be a big problem. If he goes for double protect and it, and it goes off, then he pretty much wins this no matter what, too. Okay, expanding force, that's good. Max Strike, yeah, we don't tank that. Okay, Sludge Bomb. Then we're just gonna go in DD. No, you know what? We'll go Colossal. And at this point, I think I'm willing to commit to just doing a big max guard and switching out to in DD. 
it does so much damage that I want to keep health on the thing. So I'm going to switch Blasephion into Indeedee. And if we lose Ndidi, we lose Ndidi. Okay, I kind of anticipated that that would happen. That was a good call, and I really didn't expect it to finish him off. All right, so but now we're going to actually learn something really interesting, and the thing we're going to learn is, do I get <laughs> my speed boost if Mind Blown kills Weezing? I think I don't, and that, the reason I think I don't is because I outspeed Weezing. And the other question is, will Mind Blown even kill here? And I don't know that it will. We're really banking on this, and that special D-boost was really good. I think that Blasephion, with, with a, a special attack invested in nature, will kill a plus one Weezing at less than half health, though. So he really has to rely on the double protect. Okay, yep, we get it. Does Steam Engine activate? That's the other question here. Slow start activates. That activates. Oh, it does not activate. So we're really in a tough spot now. I do think that Colossal with Dynamax and uh, Coles can win, but the only problem we have now is that we only have one turn left of Dynamax. So this is going to be a close one. Lucario, Regieleki. Um, I know Regieleki is Sash, so I can't kill it no matter what. I'm probably going to be outsped by both of them. I'm going to do Max Flare because I have to, to just to set the sun. You know, I'm going to do it. Good game to my opponent all around. Thunderbolt, that did a lot of damage. Aura Sphere, oh my gosh, oh, the crit. I think it probably would have, I think he would have had that one either way. We did learn something important that one, so that was really cool. We learned that we don't get our steam engine if we kill with Mind Blown. That was a GG. All right, and then we're gonna run it back. We got one more. The real question is how do we get rid of Weezing? It's like such a simple strategy, but it just does so good. You can just protect and kind of just wait for it to happen. Wait for your opponent to just go down to max strikes. But the fact that he can one-shot our Ndidi with a <laughs> max ground is a big problem. Here, Good luck, have fun. Alright, we're going to start things off. Alright. Alright, so my attack is I'm going to use Max Flare onto Weezing, and I'm going to use Follow Me. And the reason for that is because... Actually, you know what? Let's do it into Colossal, because there's a chance that we'll do some decent damage. He has no reason not to use Max Overgrowth, or... Let me see. Hmm... He is not Max Overgrowth. I keep calling it Max Overgrowth. He has no reason not to use Max Quake into uh, Colossal because he found out last time that it one-shots in DD2. Alright. We're going big boys here. Yeah, that was kind of anticipated. Max Strike. Alright, he has Life Orb. We're doing damage. I'm honestly surprised that he did not opt for, um, he did not opt for max ground because he boosts, he gets the special D boost. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going max, <laughs> we're going max, uh, rock just to do damage and we're going to go for mind blown. And the reason we're doing this is because I feel like it's got a chance of killing Weezing here. And even if it doesn't kill Weezing, we're in a spot where it's going to be doing big damage next turn. And now that we set sun, uh, we can have our, uh, sorry, I'm so tongue twisted. We can have our uh, Venusaur come out next turn. So, and he'll have this uh, the sun boost and he'll be faster. I really wish he had Sleep Powder right now because Sleep Powder wins games, but we're, we're living and learning. I am genuinely surprised that that didn't kill Weezing, but live and learn. I think that that was a giant misplay, not killing Colossal there, but to each their own. Okay. 
Regigigas goes down, who's the giant threat. And now we have Venusaur, <laughs> so under the sun. And the question is, does it kill Regieleki? And I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure at all. All right, Lucario, we know he's got Aura Sphere and we know that that does decent damage. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to just click Vocalith into Weezing again. Because we have Earth Power on our Venusaur. There's a chance it's Shook a Berry. I kind of anticipate that Weezing's going to go for Protect anyway. Okay, yep, Shook a Berry. Special D goes down, that's nice. Or a Sphere. Why does he keep getting crits with that move? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we got a crit. <laughs> the most unnecessary crit of all time, apparently. All right, we have two more turns of sun. Um, I think here what we do is we just click protect on both. Oh, he taunted me. Really interesting. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> if I were him, I would attack the Colossal. And he's probably going Electro Web. I'm going Earth Power onto Regieleki. We got Vocalith for two more turns. Lucario kind of just dies if we get it in a position where it can't kill both of us. And I don't anticipate they're going to double into Venusaur. I do wish I could have gone for the Protect. Regieleki doesn't die, but will die at the end of the turn. Electro Web. I don't think Lucario can kill us. Flash Cannon. Okay. GG's, I think this is our win, unless Lucario has a spread move. Alright, we do Heat Wave. Yeah, we do Heat Wave. I just don't like missing, but we do it. Oh, even even if I have speed on my side. GG's, that was, that was a very close set. Oh, you know what? He doesn't have Sun anymore. <laughs> oh. All right, well, good games. That was a bit of a nail-biter, so. All right, that's the end of our set. We'll be moving on to round two.